What's up guys, it's your boy Steve Hansen. Thanks for tuning in for another video. Today, I got a surprise. That's right, it's a Fuji X-T3. So I figured why not do a five things I like about it and five things that I don't like about it so much. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Uh, really excited to talk about this camera. Um, there's there's a bunch of videos out there that you can find to go over the specs if you guys uh, haven't uh, you know if you've been living under a rock. Uh, this camera is a crazy video shooter, takes amazing stills, and uh, it's just an all-around amazing camera. So I, I rushed out and got one. Um, I was waiting on Sony to see what they were going to do, and they decided to not do anything. So I I got this, and I'm I'm really really happy with this camera. Um, so we're going to do five things that I like about it and five things that I don't like about it. I want to start off with the five things I don't like about it because I don't want to end this video on a negative because this camera is amazing. So let's jump right in. Okay, the first two things that I don't really like about it, we're just going to get those out of the way because they've been talked about uh, by other people. Uh, and they're pretty obvious. It's the no in-body image stabilization. Um, they just didn't put it in here. And uh, it's the no flip out screen. So it goes this way but it won't flip out uh, completely articulating. So there's no no vlogging camera. So are those a deal breaker for me? No, because as you can see behind me up on the shelf, that's the uh, Crane 2. So I've got a monitor that mounts to the Crane 2 so I can see everything I need to see. I don't need to, if I want to be in front of the camera, I can make it happen. Uh, this grip for me is, uh, there's just, it's just not much grip there. Let's see if you can see that. So it's just, it's not very deep. Fuji didn't do a really good job of making that a deep grip. Um, there's plenty of room, as you can see, to get your fingers between the lens and the grip itself. So I'm not sure why they didn't make this bigger. This could have been way deeper. Then they probably could have fit a better battery in there. So I don't know. Uh, that's, that's, uh, and there's not any, you know, really any good alternatives for, uh, for add-on grips yet. So maybe another company will come out with a, with, with a grip that we can beef this up a little bit because that would be fantastic if they could the number four thing um is the battery life i mean that's been said a million times uh also but uh yeah the battery life is it's uh it's not great okay and the number five thing i don't like about the camera or, or the, i think they could have done better uh is they gave you a, they gave it a touch screen which is great you can go to your quick menus and you can change quick menu touch screens you can touch the focus and even uh, take a picture with touch it but you can't operate the full menu which i don't understand why they didn't do that it, it's, it's basically it's there they could probably they could probably fix that um oh and if i can add a sixth a sixth dislike a sixth dislike if i could um this does shoot 1080 at 120 frames per second but it's done it does the slow down internal so it doesn't record any audio and uh it, it, it slows it down internal so when you take it into post it's already going to be slowed down that's not a really effective way of uh, adding slow-mo. I mean, it's usable and it's great. It's, it shoots at like 200 megabits per second, so it's actually a really clean slow-mo. It's just, it would've been nice if I could've captured audio at the same time and then slowed it down in post, like you can on the Sony cameras and some of the other ones. So that's it. So I guess that's six things that I don't really like about it that they could fix. A um, couple of those things they could fix with the, uh, with, uh, the touch screen and the uh, slow-mo. They could actually fix that with a software update if they really wanted to. Um, but, uh, anyways, so not a big deal. Now let's move on to the five things that I absolutely love about this camera. So let's start off with the looks. This camera is beautiful. I love the dials on the top. It just gives it that old feel, that old world feel, that, uh, classic styling. I, I love it. The, uh, the big buttons here, let me show you, pull this off my shelf. So it's really dusty. I need to dust my office, but this is the old uh, Practica camera. So you can see the styling, it's very similar. So it's really cool with the silver and then the black leather. So they did the same thing here. So that's pretty cool. I love, I love, love, love having all the, uh, the knobs up here to adjust your, uh, your ISO and your shutter speed and, your, and your, your exposure. But another thing I really love, which is, which is, uh, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but the thumb grip back here. And I think it's because they didn't give us a very big grip on the front. This thumb grip that you press your thumb against, uh, that's fantastic. That gives you a lot more confidence when you're holding the camera. Um, so it fits okay in the hand. You can see that my, my two fingers actually slide underneath of it when I'm holding it. 
but uh, you know, it's okay. I actually have a, uh, a wrist grip that goes or a wrist strap that goes and connects to it. So that way if I drop it, which I probably would because I'm kind of clumsy. But if uh, as long as that wrist straps on and uh, I got my thumb against this, I feel pretty confident holding it. Um, what else? Uh, so that's number two. So number three thing I love about this camera is the obvious. Uh, it shoots 4K 60 in an APS-C sensor. That is the largest sensor that can shoot 4K 60 10-bit internal. That's crazy. So uh, thank you, Fuji, for uh, for finally realizing that as video shooters want that. Uh, it's just with well, the GH5 and the GH5S are the only other two cameras, and those are micro four-thirds sensor. The only other two cameras that can shoot 4K 60 uh, internal at 10-bit. Can they do 10-bit internal? I don't know. But this can. This does 10-bit. I know they do 10-bit internal, but I don't know if they can shoot 4K 60 10-bit internal. But this does 420 10-bit internal 4K 60 at I believe uh, 200 megabits per second. Uh, it doesn't shoot 4K 16, 400. That's a huge file anyways. But um, that's another thing I really love about this camera is that you can change file sizes. My old Sony was just stuck at 100 megabits per second and my, my, my camera that I'm shooting on now, it's stuck at 100 megabits per second. But this one allows you to change your file size from 100 to 200 up to 400 megabits per second depending on what you're shooting in, what mode you're shooting in. There's a bunch of different modes and it gives you a lot of flexibility when you're, when you're shooting which is fantastic. Okay, I think number four, I think we're on four. Fourth, the fourth thing that I love about this camera is uh, if you're in front of it, like I'm usually in front of it and with my Panasonic G7, I can see myself, there's a screen, but of course this doesn't have a flip out. And if I'm not using the free world monitor, it's nice that if you can see that, see that light right there, you can change this light to blink or just to stay on. But that means the camera's recording. Wow, amazing how that can do that. I don't know why other companies haven't been able to figure that out. That means if you're standing in front of it, and you're shooting yourself like this, you can see that it's recording. It's on and it's recording. That way, you know, if the battery dies or just you hit your time limit, you know, just by looking at that light, if you're good or not. So that actually is a pretty amazing thing. And it's just the simplest thing, but it's uh, how cool is that 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 actually does that? So that's pretty cool. Before we get to number five, we just want to give an honorable mention to the dual SD card slots. Thank you, Fuji, for putting those in there. That is amazing. So number five thing that I absolutely love about this camera, it has to be the colors that come out of it. It's just, Fuji has been making film, food, uh, like actual camera film for like a million years, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty close to a million years. Um, so the fact that they have like some of the best color sirens out there and a lot of experts would actually argue that it's better than Canon's and I would agree because I'm biased because I bought this, but um, amazing color science. Uh, take, take the, you know, shoot this in whatever you want. You to put that into your computer and it's already amazing looking, but it has an F log for video, which is fantastic. Um, there's an externa, is that what it's called? Interna, externa, eterna, eterna, whatever. I haven't shot any yet, but from all the videos I watched, everybody says it's amazing and you could just shoot in the eterna profile. That was called. And you don't have to do any post coloring. I mean, that's fantastic. So, we're gonna be shooting on that quite a bit. Check that out. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm really stoked about this camera, guys. I'm gonna be using this a lot. Uh, I'm gonna kind of retire the G7 here, though I've been using it as my main camera for a little while now. Uh, it's gonna become a B cam. I don't know if you can see up on the shelf is the RX100 Mark V. That's gonna be like a B-roll cam. This will be my main cam. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to have this. Uh, I'll go over the lenses that I got real quick in case you guys are thinking about picking one of these up. The two lenses I bought was the uh, 56 millimeter F1.2. I don't know much you can see. And I got the 23 millimeter F1.4. Uh, this basically gives me a 35 millimeter focal range. So basically I have 34.5. And this 56 actually gives me an 85. Uh, millimeter focal length, uh, you know, compared to like a full frame camera. So those are the two lenses I have now. Uh, I'll probably pick up maybe the, I heard that the 18 to 55 uh, kit lens is actually a fantastic lens for the price. So I might, I might grab that lens and uh, maybe a, maybe a, a wide angle lens, but uh, maybe over time. So anyways, guys, the Fuji is here. It's landed. It's in my hand. We're going to shoot lots of video with this. So stay tuned to the channel. We're going to do some, uh, some, we're going to throw this on the crane too. Go out there and see what it can do. 
Um, we're gonna do all kinds of we're gonna do all kinds of uh, some tests on this, and we're just gonna really put this through its paces because this is awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, share it if you want. Uh, I don't really care. Leave me a comment, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.